Okay, question 9. A skydiver who is falling vertically through air opens his parachute. Wow, so familiar, this question. <clears throat> Which role describes the velocity of the skydiver immediately after he opens his parachute? Okay, there's a key word here. Immediately, ah. Uh after he opened his parachute. So if it's immediately after he opens his parachute, right, um, it means he's already falling downwards, you know. So, okay, I don't know whether you know, but there's a past year question. There are a few past year questions, actually, that has this graph. Remember, this is the terminal velocity graph. This is a velocity against time graph. So, um, by the time the graph plateau, here is terminal velocity. Okay. So if it's immediately after he jumps, this is where he leaves the airplane. This is where you jump here. The speed will increase until a constant value. And the reason why you reach terminal velocity here is because your drag force balance off your weight. Okay, so as something is falling down, whether it's a skydiver or a bowling ball or your hopes and dreams, joking, joking. Eventually, it will reach a constant speed because the weight will cancel off with the drag force. Because as V increase, drag increase until d equal mg then this is terminal velocity this idea is so important that i tell students always ask one because they want you to know that resistance uh non-uniform acceleration this one so that's why you can see this graph here the acceleration decreases okay because uh, output outcome of this one increasing means net force decrease means acceleration decrease. But they're not asking this part. They're asking what? Immediately after he opened the parachute. Okay, let's open the parachute. Let's say he opens the parachute here. When he opens the parachute, the speed will drop very fast until you reach terminal again. Miss Waya, well, when you open the parachute, when the chute opens, what will happen to your ball that is falling down, or your object that I represent as a ball, is that your drag become very big. If your drag become very big, and your mg is still the same value, drag increase, increase. So because of this, drag is very much more bigger than mg. And because the thing is, the object is falling down, so uh, your velocity will decrease. Okay, decreases. You open the parachute, ma? So the velocity decreases, no? So increases is out, definitely decrease. But also at the same time, direction of velocity is always is downwards. Like. It's still falling down. Just because you open the parachute doesn't mean that you will suddenly float. Because for you to float, right, not only I need a large enough drag force, I need the drag force to maintain. But the thing is, it won't maintain here. You know why? Because your drag force will increase and your velocity decreases. But what happens when your velocity decreases? Drag also decrease. Until d equal to mg all over again. So this is the second terminal velocity. And this is where we land. Uh. This is a preferred landing speed. Okay, so when you start, there's no parachute. The faster, the faster something drops, the greater the drag force. So the acceleration will decrease until it's constant. Once you open the parachute, because of the large surface area, it's like opening an umbrella, your drag force will increase a lot. Because your drag force increases a lot, your speed will decrease immediately. Okay? But because your speed will decrease immediately, 
This means that drag force that was very big to begin with will begin to drop. What again? It will drop until d equal to mg once again. That's why you have two different terminal velocities. All right. So here the velocity is downwards. Upwards is very weird, okay? Because you cannot. You you are falling from. You're free falling. There's no way you can fall upwards. For you to fall upwards, your drag force have to maintain. So that means uh, what will happen is this one have to drop to negative. So only this part here is upwards, which is very weird, okay? Okay. All right. So that's it. For question 9, Skydiver. Whenever they ask you this kind of concept question, you have to uh, ready your brain. Ready your brain. <laughs>